What's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be doing a reaction to one of Bet TV's um, videos on like life as a recruiter, right? Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna kind of—it's I'm not gonna lie—is when I say Akron, how Marines think, how Marines talk, how Marines react, uh, and this literally shows like it's it's sure it's dark humor, right? It's gonna be some dark humor in here, uh, but it's the reality of like life as a recruiter. So I've been told. And stuff like that and this is the reason why i could not be a recruiter uh but this also explains a lot about just marine marines in general but without further ado let's get into the video all right let's get into this video You see, this is called getting pussy. You want to get pussy, don't you? <laughs> no, this is like, sure, it's, it's really extreme, but recruiters go to the extreme just to recruit people. Honestly, just to get people in the Marine Corps. He's literally, she's literally telling this kid like, hey, yeah, if you become Marine, you're gonna get hell of females. Uh, which is like, it's not true. It's like still based on the individuals like, uh, like abilities to pull females or if you're a female to pull males or whatever uh, but like look at that that's just the first rip uh, off of like just showing you stuff like that was I told that coming in absolutely I was told I was gonna get, I was gonna get hella girls uh, it's just funny it's just really funny oh you must be the new guy Gunny's in his office I can guarantee you <laughs> all the pussy you want and that like sure i'm telling you it's exaggerated but it just 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 realize the truth about being a recruiter right and it's good they're going to go into detail i'm gonna give you a little rundown these people cannot go home until they get people uh to agree to come to the office and sit down right so i was a, I was a pulley for over a year like i think a year and a half and i was the guy there so i was like the head pulley right uh and these guys and uh would bust their ass each and every day to get people in this office just sit down and they would just have to put in the absolute full effort to get these guys to recruit uh to get these guys to join uh recruiters are just salesmen honestly they're just going to tell you what you hear to join and this is a perfect example you must be staff sergeant butler that's me gunnery sergeant oh, i'm glad to hear that please have a seat Man, I miss Staff Sergeant King. Normally, he'd be the one showing you the ropes around here, but he's dead, and I don't have time. So, here, TC these lists. You don't go home until you get at least two appointments set up for tomorrow. I've got some gunny stuff to do, so touch base <laughs> Let's with go my A gunner. I've got some TC these lists. You don't go home until you get it. This is literally how Marines think right here. <laughs> Abercrombie called him a uh, B I T C H. Uh, this guy called him, yeah. And but this is how Marines think. Marines are not these perfect, picture perfect people. They're not these like, oh, these are like the best people on earth. Like, no, Marines are assholes. Honestly, uh, it's hilarious. Uh, but like he said, they he, they can't go home until he gets at least two people. Look how many people out of all this. Uh, that he has to get to agree and yeah at least two I appointments set up for tomorrow i've got some gunny stuff to do so touch base with my a gunner sergeant thaddeus and she'll tell you how things work around here sounds good gunnery sergeant yo dude call me gunny or guns i don't really care but you know we're pretty chill around here what? sounds good gunny Hi. I don't think we properly met before. I'm Staff Sergeant Butler. 
Sergeant Thaddeus. Nice to meet you. Uh, Gunny told me you could give me the rundown. Great, great. Well, uh, I have an appointment, so go talk to Jocelyn. She's our uh, domesticated terminal pool Lee who more or less lives here. That's her at your desk. Her? Don't worry, she doesn't bite. But she may also be a vampire, so the jury is still out on that, I guess. Well, go talk to her. Jesus, are you asking her to prom or some shit? <sighs> Good morning. Staff Sergeant Butler. Hey, I'm Jocelyn. All right. So there would be some, we you will see some weird people in the Marine Corps, right? Where they're trying to join Marine Corps. This girl was literally sitting here teaching this guy how to kill himself. <laughs> like, what is that? And like, the Marine Corps, don't, they don't really care what type of person you are. They don't really do a background check. I mean, they really don't care. Whatever you don't tell them, like, they won't know, basically. So, like, uh... Like those are these some some there's some people in there in the record that are just like this girl that are just <laughs> weird people. Impressive stack. How many civilians did you have to kill to get that car? Did you have to murder any babies or eat them? <laughs> God, you take things too seriously. Besides, I know they basically hand those things out like candy now, right? <sighs> So if you don't know what a uh, car is, um, a car is a combat action weapon, right? So you get that once you, you know, get shot at and you return fire back, right? So the reason why she said they just hand them out now is because, you know, the whole stipulation on, you know, if you don't have a car, then you, you're not really a Marine or you're not really shit or you don't have really anything. You can't say anything to anybody if you don't have a car type thing. You're not, you're not, you know, verified, right? Um, so the reason why she said they just hand them out because people will do anything for a car to get that, you know, get that verification that like, oh yeah, I saw combat and blah, 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 so. Ooh, these should be fun. Yeah, shouldn't be too bad. Just got to make some appointments with two applicants by the end of the day. <laughs> oh, sure. Be super easy. Look, I watched Staff Sergeant King scrub these lists day in and day out. It's a fucking nightmare. He's got to be glad he's dead. Oh, I'm happy for him too. You can only help you get so lucky. And that kind of dark humor right there is literally like the talk of like Firewatch, especially within the infantry. It's nothing but dark humor. People crack just like that all the time because life sucks. It does. It sucks. And it, you'll see once you get in. You'll see. Uh, so I gather you've been here a while. <laughs> that shit's not going to last. What do you mean? See what she just said, his marriage is not gonna last as a recruiter, uh, but even as like an empty marine or sometimes as a marine in general, your marriage doesn't last, so. Oh, oh yeah, sure it will. We've got a really good thing going. Um, yeah, she's the love of my life. Oh. Uh, we met in high school, actually, oh. high school sweetheart. Uh, it's a great story, we met ah, uh, Okay, no, <laughs> just leave it at that for now. Hi, this is Staff Sergeant Butler. Good morning. I am with the United States Marine Corps, and I'm looking for a uh, Miss Jessica Myers. Is she available? Exactly what I would do. Beat Pango. <laughs> Good morning. This is Staff Sergeant Butler with the United States Marine Corps. I. Good morning. This is Staff Sergeant Butler with. Good morning. This is Staff. Oh, God. Right, so I want you to see how like each time he gets denied, right? He has to get two people before he goes home. But each time he calls somebody, he gets denied. So what do you think like you would do in that scenario, right? You, you're told that you can't go home until you get two people to join. Eventually, you're going to, or two people to come to the office and have a meeting with you. Eventually, you're going to start to, you know, fuzz the lines of the truth. And you're going to start to make things seem so good in the Marine Corps. So they come on into the office to come meet with you. 
Could I speak with Mr. Jason Jones? And if, I don't know if you really heard it, but the guy told him to stop calling his house, right? Um, like, he's not, his child's not going to join, just stop calling, right? And, uh, if you know how Marine recruiter, like Marine recruiters are, they're going to hound the fuck out of you until you go into the office or until you tell them to leave me the fuck alone, so. You foreskin. <laughs> I tell you to blow me, but I don't want any that loser dust on my ball. <laughs> and that's literally how Marines talk 24 7, 24 7, especially in infantry. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> you suck! World travel, physical fitness, confidence. Yes, people will respect you. See, selling that. Yeah, people will respect you. Like, in reality, like, sure, you're serving your country. That is a big, big accomplishment. That's a big, like, step, right? But in reality, do people honestly care that you're a United States Marine? No. What are your plans after high school? Well, college can be expensive. Have you heard of the GI Bill? <laughs> you don't know. No, no, no. You don't have to die to get it. You don't have to die to get it, but you have to sell your soul. Well, we do have some pretty high physical standards, so I guess you could say that. Maybe you could uh, stop by and show me sometime. Yeah, I mean, I, I could do a house visit, but I, I was really hoping to talk to your son. Oh, well, <laughs> and that's why that, that girl said these marriages might not last, because that is true. Like, that's the best looking uniform Marines have is the blues, right? And people are going to see you each and every day, and people are going to try you. Uh, I've had recruiters tell me that that has happened. My son's in and out. It's so hard to keep track of kids these days. But you are still welcome to come over. I, I mean, look, if your son's at home, I'd really like to get him involved. And I don't know if you saw what was going on with the, the gunny and stuff the whole time. Uh, how he was, like, he like boosting the kid's head. It was like, oh, his grip's really strong. And... Oh, he has some big muscles and stuff like that. So this is hilarious. What the extremes they will go to to get people to join the Marine Corps, and then those people join the Marine Corps, and it's a totally different ball game than what they thought it was. Uh, them joining, and they just regret their whole decision. Uh, so yeah. Wait, wait, if I'm in a what? Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm sure your son is very intelligent. <laughs> we are so excited to have you. And if you to have be here. any questions, uh -huh. just feel free to call me. Okay. Anytime. Well, thank Day you for your time. night. I am here for you to help you through every step. All right. We'll definitely be here in the so. Great. Good afternoon. College can be. This is Staff Sergeant Butler. Could I speak with Mr. Jason, Jason Hazel? Jones. I am with Some aspects are like Call of Duty, yes. Physical fitness. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you anyways. And please feel free to contact me if you change your mind. Good afternoon, this is Staff Sergeant Butler. I know who you are, jerk. Liz? Why aren't you answering your cell phone? I'm sorry. And this is going to explain why so many relationships and other stuff does not last in the Marine Corps. So please pay attention very, very, very carefully. Sorry, honey, I, I just been so busy. I haven't thought to check it. I guess I'm still not a priority, huh? Even on our anniversary. Look, I'm sorry, honey. Look, Gunny said I can't leave until I made two appointments for tomorrow. Are we still on for dinner at least? I left work early to get all dolled up for you. I don't know, sweetheart. I'll, I'll do my absolute best. Just please don't be mad. I'll be home as soon as I can, okay? 
And that is exactly why I had to, one, get out of the Marine Corps, and I definitely cannot be a recruiter, because one, I cannot lie to people to get them to join the military or the Marine Corps especially. And two, I was so tired of missing everything, and I did not want uh, my future wife or whatever to be like second to anything, because in reality, the Marine Corps is going to be your number one priority. They control your entire life. Look at this guy. He's missing his anniversary because he has to get two people to come just sit down and talk to him. They can't even do that. And he can't, so therefore he can't go home. So he can't even spend time with his wife on his an, on his anniversary. So, yeah. How was your day? Did you get those appointments? Uh, no, Gunny. I've been hitting the list hard, but no dice. You need to figure your shit. I'm not gonna keep you. Get those appointments. Well, actually, Gunny, it's my anniversary. Oh, mm, too bad. <laughs> Look, guy, a word of advice. Fuck what they taught you in recruiter school. Sometimes in order to be successful around here, you have to tell a few white lies, grease a few palms, use your assets. You get what I'm saying? I don't have tits, Sergeant. It looks like you're working on some. Perfect. This is how Marines think and how Marines act. This is a perfect Vet TV. Great job. Great job. Vet TV is honestly, it's just great. You should, if you haven't seen anything Vet TV's put out, go watch it. It's literally the reality of the Marine Corps or military general. Just get with the program and your marriage might survive. Otherwise, I'm sure someone else will have the time for your wife. And that's what ends up happening. And that's just tough. Cheer up, big guy. Friends of mine from high school. No way in hell they joined the military, but an appointment's an appointment. Just uh, tell them I asked you to call and they'll play the game. That's kind of cheating. You know, I don't. I don't don't wanna... be retarded. Just hurry up and call them and you can have dinner with your wife. I, I... You're welcome. fact that he's really contemplating well guys there you go that is the reality and reason why i cannot be a recruiter uh but yeah the stuff in the video sure it's exaggerated but it's pretty 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 true of just how marines think how they act it is literally spot on but hey it might give you a new viewpoint of walking to your, your recruiter's office and uh maybe it'll make you do a little bit more research on what he or she is telling you about the marine corps uh, but guys, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Also, the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And as always, thanks for 